morning everybody, we are here for one more science class, I know that we are almost at the end, but uh, please hang in there, let us keep on going. So let us stand up for a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, I ask you, Lord, to bless all the students, be with them, abide in them, and prepare us for your kingdom, in Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, uh, we have here 12.2. 12.2. Look how beautiful is this homework. We're going to learn a lot on this homework. Look. Contrast that group with what? Spreading root. Right? Uh, that group, I told you that's the root, that's the main root on the tree or the plant. Has a little root, but uh, has a main one. And the spread root is what? Several. Uh, equal size root that is spread out near the surface. So the third proof is lining large main root that go deep into the ground. Now uh, number three, number two, uh, listen three main functions of the tree root. So three main functions are absorb water and minerals, minerals. Anchoring the tree firm in the soil and what? Storing food. Remember that I said to you last time, it's three important functions of the root. Now, number three, what are the advent, uh, adventures of root? So we have here root that grows from plant stem, branch, leaves, or mature wood root. Uh, number four, where is a tree xylems tissue located? I talked about the xylem last time. Not only about the xylem, but about the phloem, and I stress out about because this is very important. Xylem and phloem. Okay, so we see here number four is what on the is the wood, the wood. That is the place where located. Remember that I said to you, xylem get what? Uh, water and mineral from the soil. And phloem, they get what? They get the oxygen, the result of photosynthesis on the plant and go to entire plant. And the leaves and go to entire plant. Now, number five, give a definition of competition as it relates to tree. So, this is I talked to. You will see here struggle against other plants and tree for space, sunlight, water, and mineral needed to grow. So this is happening. Number six, which type of bud form a new branch on a stem? Lateral bud, lateral bud. And then number seven, which leaves are usually found on the top of the tree? Sun leaves, sun leaves. Now, this thought provoke, it is very important. I want you to do that because of this you're going to use your entire life when you see any tree that's already cut, the, the stem, the trunk. You're going to see, you're going to count the year, you're going to say how old is the plant, and the people that will be with you is going to be amazing for your knowledge, knowledge in, in botany and trees. Okay? They will ask you, who is your teacher that taught that? So are you please remember it, I will still use Okay, look at that. Pay attention. Look, thought provoke. From the center, this flash cut stub has six wide grow rings. Yeah, are you seeing the six wide grow ring? Four very wide grow rings and three very narrow grow rings. The remaining 10 grow rings are wide, but are what? Disturbed. Uh, with wide rings on one side of the tree, then one on the other. The tree was learning, was leaning, when it was cutting down. Give this information, what can we tell about this tree life? So when you look at that, you can do a report. It has a report, it has everything written down, what's happened with this tree. But you want to interpret that. You give interpretation. Look, the first, 
uh, six years, a good environment condition allowed the rapid growth during the three first six years. You see the six rings, they are beautiful. For the next four years, the tree grew even better with little competition. Little competition. The tree was under some form of stress for the next three years. Three years. Hints grow. So, didn't grow much. For the last 10 years, the tree was lean. The tree is 23 years old. If you count all these rings, 23 years old. Imagine if you pass by, you go and count the tree and said, oh, these trees are 50 years old. The people is going to ask, well, how do you know? I know botany. I know how to, to, to count uh, how old it is and find out. And then you start to explain, oh, this tree got fire in this year. Guys, it's going to be so exciting that you cannot imagine with all this knowledge that we have about trees. So, I would like you next class do 12.3, that will be about forest. Thank you.